Very kind, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, slight awkwardness uh, tonight. Um, Griff, uh, for some reason, <laughs> has not actually turned up. I don't quite know... Uh... Oh, he's here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm late. I, um, I was, uh, I was tied up. I mean, no, no, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't get away. I'm, I'm sorry I'm late. Sorry. <laughs> what are you wearing? Oh, this! Oh, yes! Uh, no, well, you know how it is. Some days you just go up on the morning and, you know, throw the first thing on that comes to hand. And I just, <laughs> I, you know, it just happens to be what I was, um, what I was wearing last night. <laughs> and I, uh... I look a bit of a mess, don't I? <laughs> you could put it like that. Yeah, yeah. I've got something tied up wrong here. Well, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, Griff's come fresh from a uh, fancy dress party last yeah, night. Yeah, I beg your pardon? I was just saying, you've obviously been to a fancy dress party, which is why you are dressed like that, Griff. Oh, no, no, I see what you mean. No, 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 there's a perfectly good reason why I'm dressed like this. Well, what is it? I'm into bondage. <laughs> You're into bondage. Yeah, it's a sexual fetish. I know what it is. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you get a bit bored, you know, one way or another, and you've been on top, she's been on top, the bed's been on top, the dog's been on top, you know, and you just have to... <laughs> you just have to with the So now we sort of tie each other up and beat the hell out of each other. Very nice. We like it. Yeah. Good, good, good. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, and everybody's got their little peccadillos, haven't they? I mean, I mean, you dress up in women's clothes, and that's just way in one way. My mother is here tonight. Well, come on, it's only a little bit of fun. It's only a little bit of deviance. Can we we'll just get on? <laughs> on what? <laughs> get on with the show. Oh, the show, that old thing, yeah, sure. We obviously can't do it dressed like this, can we? No. I better get changed. Could you get my Cammy Nickers and twin set ready? <laughs> Watson, let's try the 3.2. <laughs> and now, gentlemen of the press, I'd like to I'd like to introduce the man who is in charge of the hunt for this attacker, Police Commissioner John Rushton. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. <clears throat> gentlemen of the press, I would like to brief you as to the latest developments, which are considerable, in the hunt for the killer at large in the Suffolk region in the Sussex region. <laughs> 400 top police officers working day and night for the last two weeks have finally come up with a nickname for the killer. <laughs> we shall be calling him the Hedgehog. Uh, Simon Bell, a Daily Mail, why the Hedgehog? Because other wild animals like fox, snake, mongoose and rabbit have been used before. Tony Robbins, Daily Mirror. Yes. Is it true that most policemen are of abnormally low intelligence? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Now, all the hedgehog's attacks have followed the same pattern. The victim has always been a girl and the attacks have all taken place at night. Or during the day. Robbins, Mirror, what's the capital of France? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Yes, we'll have one of our experts look into that one. <laughs> now, even as we speak, all my top officers are searching every square inch of Hampshire. Why not Sussex, where the attack took place? <laughs> because we are far too busy in Hampshire. <laughs> now, in addition to extra manpower, we have introduced new high-speed three-litre squad cars that make the American type of noise. You know, the... <laughs> woo, 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 woo. As opposed to the old... Na, 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 oh, excuse me. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, the capital of France is Paris. <laughs> now... One of the most important clues so far received was yesterday at operational headquarters. A cassette tape with 
this letter. Dear Mr. Clever Copper. <laughs> I think he's referring to me there. <laughs> you still have not caught me yet. This tape might help you trace me. Yours, Deathhawk. <laughs> Obviously, we got this after we decided on the hedgehog. <laughs> well, it would mean reprogramming the computer. Uh, Charles Davis, the Guardian. Yes. Is it true that policemen beat up blacks and homosexuals indiscriminately? Depends how many men are available. Yeah, play the tape. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll, um, I'll play this cassette now. Uh, now, this is, the, this is the cassette sent to us by the hedgehog. Uh, the hedgehog. Here we go. Yes, I know, and we have pulled in the two gentlemen for questioning, just in case. <laughs> People should not be allowed to get away with that sort of thing. Sam Brock, Times. Yeah. Is it true that some of your officers have had a close encounter with the hedgehog? <laughs> yes. That a senior police officer has spoken to him face to face. Yes. Then why hasn't he been caught? Yes, yeah, why hasn't he been, yeah, why why has he been caught? caught? Look, we couldn't nab him. Why not? Because he's a mason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The arms talks are to reconvene. President Reagan announced today that the American government has made concrete assurances to the Soviets and offered to meet all current viable demands. Swing low, <laughs> sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry Home news. <laughs> the Home Secretary has announced stringent measures to halt the increase in interest rates. <laughs> there will be no change in the current free bargaining position. <laughs> oh, give me a home where the polo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. Where <laughs> is heard a discouraging word, and the cries of that cloudy are grey. Oh. <laughs> well, we're able to interrupt this broadcast to go over to an urgent film report from strife-torn Menegisto. Jonathan Reed, our man on the spot. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, Yankee Doodle do or die. A real-life nephew of my Uncle Sam, born on the 4th of July. Finished. I must say, it's not a request. I I've ever had to do this before. Oh, uh, well, I'm a bit of an angling freak, you know. Last week, I broke the British Pollock record, caught an absolute beauty off New Haven. So I thought, I think I'll have a pair of Pollocks tattooed on me back. Pollocks. <laughs> I must say, Barty, this place of yours, absolutely unique, isn't it? Unique? Mm. Mm, yes, but what is unique? Whenever anybody says that word to me, I'm reminded of that definition of Oscar Wilde. Do you know Oscar Wilde at all? Mm, not really, Well, no, he no. said there are, there are a few things in life that are truly unique. And they are easily enumerated. The music of Beethoven, the intuition of a woman, the obstinacy of an ass, the song of a tit, the crow of a cock and the waywardness of the wind. That's very good. Very good. Very good. 
I must remember that. Mm. Music of Beethoven, intuition of a woman, obstinacy of an ass, the song of a tit, the crow of the wind, and the waywardness of a cock. <laughs> no, no, it's the crow, cock, and the waywardness of the wind. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. Yes. The crow of a cock, the waywardness of the wind. What were the others again? <laughs> the music of Beethoven, the intuition of a woman, the obstinacy of an ass, and the song of a tit. Tit. <laughs> so, that's the crow of a cock, <laughs> the waywardness of the wind, the music of Beethoven, the obstinacy of an ass, the song of a woman and the intuition <laughs> of a tit. No, no it's the song of a tit, you see. The song, <laughs> the song of a tit. Yeah. The song of a tit. Yeah. Sorry, the song of a tit. That's right. <laughs> the obstinacy of an ass. Yes. <laughs> the music of a crow. <laughs> the intuition of a cock. <laughs> The waywardness of a woman <laughs> and the wind of Beethoven. The music of Beethoven, you see. Beethoven music. Oh, you the music, know. sorry. The music of Beethoven. That's right. The ass of a woman. No, the, the intuition. The intuition. The intuition. The intuition yeah. of a woman. That's right. The waywardness of the wind. The song of a crow. No, 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 no. It's the song of a tit. The song of a bloody tit. Sorry. The, sorry. The song of a bloody tit. No, not a bloody tit. Just sorry. a tit. No, you just said it was a bloody tit. I know. Tit. I said. I never said. But I don't mean that. I mean it is just the song of a tit. The song of a tit. Yes, that's right. The song of a tit. The the the, the, uh, the waywardness of the wind. The way, yes. Uh, the, the intuition of a woman. Wind, yes, yes. The yes. cock of Beethoven. Music of Beethoven. <laughs> I think I've got it. I think I've got it. It's the waywardness of the wind, the obstinacy of an ass, the music of a song, <laughs> the intuition of a crow, <laughs> and the cock of Beethoven's woman's tit. It is the music of Beethoven. The intuition of the obstinacy of an ass, the song of a tit, the crow of a cock, and the waywardness of the wind. <laughs> Very good, very good. Yes, yes, sir. I think I've got that now. <laughs> Rather unique place you have here. Piss off. I can't take any more. We're never going to be rescued. We've been drifting for days. I'm going to make a swim for it. For God's sake, no. For God's sake. For God's sake. Keep sir. calm. Keep calm. Look, I know we've been through a lot. We've been through a lot, but we can get through a lot more. As long as we stick together and we keep our spirits up. Padre. Yes, sir. Why don't you lead us all in a song? All right, sir. All right, then. After me. We're all going to die. 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 The most unfortunate man in the world. Arthur Penis. <laughs> it started when I was born, really. I was abandoned as a baby in a Kentucky fried family bucket. <laughs> Luckily, the man that bought me adopted me. 
didn't have the most interesting of childhoods. I'm very happily married. Susan's a lovely girl. Well, George, as it turned out. I'm content in my job. I'm a civil servant, largely dealing in the area of bollard identification. I think it's important. Off he goes, you see. That's the way it works out. I've got my share of good luck as well. I've won a couple of competitions. A life subscription to the Reader's Digest and a season ticket for Brentford. <laughs> it's not only me that's affected. Take machinery, for instance. My television only works when the adverts are on. My record player only plays James Last and Julio in Glaciers. <laughs> I have hobbies. My main hobby is allergies. I'm allergic to alcohol, drugs and sex. And food. Well, most foods. I can eat Spam. That's about it. Oh, it's not that bad, you know. I mean, let's face it, without this... I'd be a nobody. They <laughs> 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 had to amputate my left leg. <laughs> well, things can only get better now, can't they? <laughs> Penis. How is the, uh, the stump? Fine, fine, thank you, Darren. Fine, yes. Because I'm afraid we, uh... Wrong leg. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You've got to laugh, haven't you? <laughs> never mind, Doctor, never mind, Doctor. I'd like to shank you by the hand for all the, um... Something else. Yes, I'm afraid they wheeled the trolley in backwards. <laughs> oh, God, well, there we are. Well, these things happen, don't they? Yes, yes. <laughs> they do to me, anyway. <laughs> Friends, we are gathered here today to join together this male praying mantis and this female praying mantis in holy matrimony. Jeremy, do you take Amanda to be your lawful wedded wife to love, honour and obey? I do. Amanda, do you take Jeremy to your lawful wedded husband to love, honour, obey, and kill him after you both have mated? I do. Then with the power invested in me, Excuse and in the sight... Just a minute, I'm, ter I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> what, what, was that, what was that last bit again? What? That bit about kill him after you both have mated. Well, after consummation, the female praying mantis always kills the male. Didn't you know that? No, no, I didn't. <laughs> oh, well... Well, don't worry, it's perfectly natural. Of course, yes. Yeah. Yes, so, fine. with the power invested in me, and in the Excuse sight... Me, I'm terribly sorry, oh. I'm terribly, could you... Can I just... <laughs> when, 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 what, what I'm actually trying to say is that... Is that, is that uh, we, I mean, the two of us, we sort of... We go away on honeymoon. Yes. And, and only one of us comes back. <laughs> well, you could put it that way, yes. Now, shall we get on? Yes, of course. With the power invested in me... When you, and in the say, when you say that the, um, the female kills the male after they've consummated the marriage, is, is, is that after the first time that they, um... <laughs> or, or could it be after a couple of times, you know, a few times, sort of... Few it times. is immediately after the first time. I see. So I, I, I only get the first theme. Yes, that is the I bottom see. line as far as male oh, okay, praying mantises so. go, I'm afraid. Is anything wrong? No, 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 no. I'm just wondering whether it's worth it, that's all. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've booked the hotel for a fortnight, and I just uh... do. Would you like to be married or not? Yes, 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 yes. I'd like to be married. It's just the murdering bit. I'm not very keen. That's what I mean. You know, it rather puts a damper on the whole day, doesn't it? And, uh, how, do, how does she do it, actually? As a matter of fact. Didn't know? your father tell you anything? Well, I never met my father. He was murdered while he was on honeymoon. <laughs> oh yes, of course. Yes, yes, I forgot. So, so how's it done? Is it, what, is it poison in the cocoa? Or what is it? She clamps your throat between her incisors and bites your head off during the frenzy of the climax. <laughs> uh, oh, come on, I'm good, but I'm not that good. <laughs> You're gonna stay to that man. 
You brought him in here half an hour ago on a drink driving charge. <laughs> what on earth have you done to him? Ooh, you asked me to get a blood sample, so. <laughs> Et donc, à la fin de la mission, Bouchi. Il a eu de la fin de la mission, il a eu de la fin de la There we are, gentlemen and lady. The new Ayushi XL20 stereo system. This is the model that we want to see up on the shelves where it belongs this Christmas. All right. <laughs> now, that's, uh, that's all that Derek and I have to say. Thank God for that, I hear you say. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, any questions? No. Right, sales areas. Uh, there is one, Alan. Um, what is it, uh, Jerry? Jerry? Well, what do all the buttons do? <laughs> what do all the buttons do? Yeah, what do all the buttons on the machine do? <laughs> well, obviously, they're for work in the system. <laughs> now, sales areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but, but specifically, Alan, I mean, what does the graphic equaliser actually do? <laughs> uh, right, OK. Right, well, the graphic equaliser is, uh, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's here, it's here. Now, and the, and the, and the main function of the graphic equaliser is, is simply, um, Derek? What? What does it do? Oh, well, uh, the graphic equaliser, well, I mean, obviously, um, obviously it, uh, it equalises your graphics. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. You see, if it, you see, it, 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 in the event of your graphics falling behind at any time, uh, this uh, this it will enable them to uh, to catch up and become yeah. equal. Yeah. <laughs> now, obviously, it's not going to put them in the lead. <laughs> right now, sales areas. What about the function buttons, Alan? Uh, L W M W and all that. Uh, well, it's quite it's simple, very simple, isn't yeah. it? Uh, L W obviously long wave, M W medium wave, uh, F M A M. Uh, I, well, AM's obviously uh, for listening to the radio in the morning. <laughs> uh, FM. FM, uh, Derek. Uh, yeah, Alan. Uh, well, FM, that, 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 obviously, that should be PM. That's for listening in the afternoon. <laughs> oh, well, right. I think a little bit's got scratched off there, you know, just off my head. It was coming out of the yeah, warehouse, yeah. must have. Uh, yeah, that, that tape, right? That, that is tape, OK. And phono, that's phono. And CD Orcs. <laughs> CD Orcs. Yeah, well, that, that is obviously, that's auxiliary CD, isn't it? Huh. That's, a sort of, that's a sort of backup CD in case your main CD breaks down. Right now, sales. <laughs> Alan, what about uh, Dolby B and Dolby C? What about bloody Dolby B and Dolby? <laughs> uh, no, well, uh, that's a very, very good question, uh, uh, Dave. Dave. Dave yeah. Very good. Um, well, obviously, obviously, Dolby uh, Dolby B and Dolby C have replaced the uh, rather outmoded Dolby A. <laughs> was um too old oh yeah too old yes yeah. yeah. uh yeah and of course obviously uh, you see your dolby b here your dolby b that b for button <laughs> and a c is uh, well for cutting cut. <laughs> No, 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 that's all right, because that's Dolby B, Do right? Dolby C. Yeah. That, obviously, that's because they come off to Dolby A, you see? Isn't that right? A, B, C. A, B, that's C, right. yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. that's but, right. But what is Dolby? <laughs> well, obviously, uh, I mean, to go into a go into complex uh, sort of technical detail sort of outline of what it is at the moment uh, would take too long. Um, basically, it's a very sophisticated system which uh, allows you to listen to your cassette with the little green light on or off <laughs> uh, according to time. Now, sales areas. Excuse me, excuse me, uh, what's the point of the dubbing button, Derek? That's the point of it, that little thing that sticks out there. <laughs> What does the Mick Vol button do then? The, the Mick Vol button doesn't do bugger all. <laughs> Mick Vol was the bloke who invented the machine. <laughs> Good old Mick. <laughs>
Right, right, right. Where would you have had it? Now, sales area. Sorry, sorry, Derek, uh, I'm sorry, I still don't understand why we need so many buttons. You don't need so many buttons. I don't need so many buttons. The machine doesn't need so many buttons. The customer doesn't need so many bloody buttons. But if we don't have buttons on stereos, we don't sell them, do we? Right. <laughs> Sales areas. <laughs> Pass me exhibit A, would you? Ah, yes, cannabis resin. Mm. Moroccan, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> um, tell me, officer, where exactly was this discovered? Up the defendant's back passage. Replacement Phil Hobbs. Pleased to meet you. Yeah. Ben Stevens. Now listen carefully, I haven't got a lot of time. Oh, yeah. It's a fairly standard device, yeah. four pounds of HME. It's yeah. plastic, but it's based on PDNT rather than RDX, okay? Yeah. It's on a split circuit timer. Yeah. There's four trips, a mercury tilt switch, and we've got three circuit timing in parallel underneath the old uh, detonator. <laughs> so it's a bomb, is it? <laughs> Have you done this before? No, not as such. No, oh, no, right. no, no. No, I, I, I'm on an attachment, you see. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, because I, usually I play the oboe in the regimental band. <laughs> but I fancy the change, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I know all about explosives, though. Oh, right, well, that's just as well. Yeah, because I used to work in demolition before I joined up, you know. <laughs> I could tell you some stories, Ben, I could, yeah, you know. I, rem I remember once we blew up a block of flats and it landed on a chimney. That was a funny thing, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, settle down, settle yeah, down, yeah, will yeah, you? Sure, yeah, yeah. Okay, because we're on borrowed time here, mate. As soon as I get into this detonator and switch this circuit over, there is no going back. You understand what yeah, I mean? I do, yeah. Better if, you, better if you don't bang the pipe, I think. Oh, yeah, right. Well, what do you mean the jelly knot's a little bit sort of unstable, is it? Just a little bit unstable, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take the clippers. Yeah. I'm going in. Look at that! What? Butter, 28p a pound. <laughs> It's a crime to blow this place up, isn't it, really? You'd have thought concentrate, that, concentrate. Yeah, I need your help, all right? Yeah. Now, that's the case in help. Now, I'm going to get into this circuit in two places, right? Yeah. There and there. And yeah. once I've broken it, I want you to cut that wire, that red wire there. Do you understand? The red wire, yeah. You can rely on me, Ben. That's yeah. all right, yeah. It's an honour to be working with the legendary Ben Stevens, I tell you. That's one. Yeah, they talk about you down at the mess, you know. Shaking Stevens, they call you. <laughs> Do they? Well, not all of them, obviously. Most of them call you Bodger Ben. <laughs> <laughs> just cut the wire. Oh, yeah, sorry, hold the wire. Yeah, no, hold on, just a minute. I'll just get this sorted out. Yeah. The wire. <laughs> <laughs> which, 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 which wire is that, then? The red one. Oh, the red one, right, yes. Which, which is the red one, then? <laughs> I'm what? A bit, I'm a bit colour blind, you see. I, I don't never believe this. I don't, but I don't. Colours and all that. Look, you, you take this, you take this. Oh, yeah, right. Just right. hold these circuits yeah. open. Go on. All right, yeah, all right. You've got that. Yeah, OK. I've got that. Yeah, got that. All right. Now, don't move a muscle or we will be blown all over the shop. Shot, Daddy. Mate. That's funny. Daddy. Yeah, I'm Daddy. sorry, so I've got a sense of humour, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. just Where gone. where are the clippers? Oh, they're, in, they're in my top pocket. My pocket. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> oh still. <laughs> oh dear. Oh you got them, have you? Yeah. Yeah, right. We're a team, you and me, aren't we, eh, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we are, I tell you, yeah. Phil and Ben. <laughs> the Jellignite men. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now, this yeah. is the tricky bit. Yeah, right, yeah. OK? Yeah. Absolutely yeah. still. Do you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah, that's fine, right, yeah. Oh, God, it's terrible, isn't it? Dicing with death every day. I don't know how you manage it. You've been a family man and all. Yeah. Neither do I. No, just one, one, slot, one false move there, and, you, you know, your poor old girl's on a widow's pension, isn't she, really? And that lovely daughter of yours, yeah. What's she called? Cathy. Cathy, that's right. How old is she? Fourteen. Fourteen, yeah. Goes like a train, they say. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? Down a mess, you know. All the boys down there, they say she takes after you, you know. Lust for danger. <laughs> like soon in the back of minicabs about that. <laughs> I, I don't think you cut that bit, Ben. Ben, I don't, I don't think you've cut that wire isn't cut, Ben. <laughs> Bear, don't leave. Mr. Ste Sergeant Stevens, please. Don't leave me there. <laughs> but I, uh, uh, oh. no, I, I wouldn't worry anyway, I think. I think that clock's wrong anyway. <laughs> Consistency of, 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 of the wine. <laughs> Title speeches. Um, I'll just uh, do the introduction. Oh, no, 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 not yet. Uh, what's the problem, Albert? I've, um, uh... Lost your notes? Uh, yes, yes. No. No, obviously not. Uh, no, look, uh, no, uh, look, I've got, um, I've got, look, it's all right. Look, everybody gets nervous. Don't yes, worry about yes, it. I'll just make look, I've, um, <coughs> I've, um, I've got an erection. <laughs> Can I do anything? No, no, no. It's all right. Just, just give me a moment and I'll... It's all, uh, I'll just um, think of Enoch Powell or something. Yeah. It's, it's all right. It's, um, how's it, just... How's it? Is it... Uh... to introduce our guest speaker for tonight, Sir David Hardon. Hardon! <laughs> 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 